It's always good to return to Montefalco. Montefalco is a town in Umbria, about two hours from Rome, famous for its wines. Great wines. I'm returning to Montefalco for the Anteprima Sagrantino, the presentation of the local wines made from Sagrantino grape, the trademark of the area. I leave the links to my previous Montefalco videos below for you to see how it went in the past. The little town's got everything you expect from a charming little Italian town. The city walls, narrow streets, and history everywhere. The event attracts wine connoisseurs, sommeliers, and journalists from all over the world. The main tasting is organized in the historic City Hall, a beautifully decorated place that, to this occasion, is even more beautiful. If you know what I mean, right? Imagine all this wine could be yours to taste. All those aforementioned folks then sit and sip their wines while taking notes in the absolute silence, taking their job very, very seriously. The advantage of being a YouTube content creator is that you simply enjoy a wine and film it. You taste six wines at a time, and then another six, and another six. You know the drill. But the organizers have thought of everything. Right outside the city hall, waiting for you, is your faithful driver, whose plush shuttle will take you to, well, some more wine tasting. This time, in the individual wineries peppered across the countryside around Montefalco. You go from winery to winery, and you're greeted there by the family who produces the wine, and you chat all you want about it, look at the wine cellars and the production process. And all that while sipping some of the most exquisite wines you'll find anywhere. And that's not the end of it. All that is accompanied by some delicious food. Remember, we're in Umbria. And each winery has their own way of charming you. How about the ride to the vineyards by a horse-drawn carriage? Well, and yes, through olive groves too. Can you tell us about horse lingo? Why are you doing, like, when you do, what, what's that? How do you communicate with them? Allora, la mia comunicazione con loro è esclusivamente tramite la voce. Okay. Perché se so io give, adesso... give us an example. Uh, hola. Wow. <laughs> All right. Avanti. Dai. Amazing. <laughs> I cavalli, tra l'altro, riconoscono a destra e la sinistra. Ah, sì? Se io dico de, 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 il cavallo già guarda de, ah. a destra. Se io dico sini, 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 il cavallo si avvicina a sinistra. Ok. So, guys, just to set the record straight, these two guys here, in real life, look something like Mike Tyson. <laughs> I mean, young Mike Tyson. Sorry, Mike. And people make way for Mike Tyson. Yeah. 
okay, brother? No, no, no. I'm sorry. How are you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Alessandro Lunelli. I'm third generation of the Lunelli family. And here we are at the Tenute Lunelli in Umbria in Montefalco region. And in front of us, you see all the vineyards of our mm -hmm. Sangiovese, Merlot and Cabernet, and of course, Sagrantino, where we produce uh, Montefalco Sagrantino. We're Italians. We do good things, but we do beautiful things as well. And that's why we decided to create the Carapace. Carapace is a masterpiece of art. It's a giant sculpture made by Arnaldo Pomodoro. For those of you who are not quite sure about Arnaldo Pomodoro, you can check out his sphere sculpture in front of the UN headquarters in New York. This is a huge, giant turtle shell, and it reminds of the luck and longevity that Sagrantino brings to you and your homes. And this is what it looked like pre-COVID. Totally my kind of place. But this year, we've got to check out the hidden part of it. Now we're going downstairs. To the, to the exciting barricaia. part. Because even the wine, oh, wow. even the barricaia must be a beautiful piece of art. Yeah. We are in the heart of our winery, where the Montefalco Sagrantino rests. Because Montefalco Sagrantino requires many years in order to be ready. And of course, we do it in wooden barrels. And here, you can say different types of barrels from Barrique, which we use for Merlot and Cabernet, to 500 liters tonneau, to the tronco conici, kind of a cone kind of shape, where we do fermentation as well, and the big barrels, 20, 30 hectoliters in the background, which we use for long, long refinement and aging of the wine. And this is very important for our Sagrantino, because Sagrantino needs time, and time is one of the secrets of this variety. Of course, then, there is, there's a lot of other little secrets, which, like a puzzle, makes the quality of our wine. And the first key part is the vineyard. Getting the best grape in the vineyard, the right maturity and ripeness, is what makes a Sagrantino really drinkable, enjoyable, and long-lasting. At the very end, Alessandro shared with us the Italian perspective on wine consumption. Fin da bambini si vede bere con moderazione e con attenzione ai propri genitori. E fin da, non dico dai prima infanzia, ma quando si inizia ad avere 12-15 anni, un piccolo assaggio per bagnarsi le labbra fa sì che le persone si avvicinino al mondo dell'alcol in maniera consapevole.